Kenya's water sector is grappling with a range of persistent and complex challenges that hinder access to safe and reliable water and sanitation services. Rapid population growth, urbanization and the effects of climate change have intensified water scarcity and placed immense pressure on aging and inadequate infrastructure. Then there is the battle against invisible losses. Non-revenue water, which is basically water treated but does not generate revenue for water utilities, is a big challenge for many water utilities in the country. And the question is, just how can water service providers reduce their non-revenue water? When you don't choose your pipe right, you will always have failures. Number two, when you don't choose your right valves, you will always compromise with your flow ratios. So these are some of the things which we always keep on educating our engineers. And we always inform the WSPs to use the right technology. With these valves and products, we ensure that we are able to deliver top tier and comprehensive engineered solutions that will be able to be efficient, robust, and also climate resilient. The water losses that we are recording currently of about 40%. In our estimation, the bulk of it is what we call commercial losses. And commercial losses is basically stealing. Yeah? Either through illegal connections, not having meters that read properly, and all these issues. So if we deal with that, it will go a long way in terms of uh, improving access. Uh, to water services. In a world grappling with climate change and water scarcity, the quest for sustainable water and sanitation solutions has never been more urgent or more innovative. Across Africa and beyond, bold new financing models, breakthrough technologies and forward-thinking partnerships are transforming how communities access and manage water. Across forward-thinking utilities, the analog era is ending. Smart meters and AI-driven systems are replacing human error with digital precision. Tech is the modern world. Without embracing technology, then the, the country, the ministry, and once all the country will lag behind. One, now we have smart meters. This idea of uh, meter readers has been existent for years. People who are mostly to make mistakes when reading those numbers. And you know those numbers in the meters are small. So those contribute to our land revenue. So we are asking our water service providers to embrace smart meters. Non-revenue water, a hidden crisis. One that doesn't make headlines but bleeds the sector dry. From smart infrastructure to climate resilient investments, a new wave of solutions is emerging. Solutions that not only protect vital resources but also power economic growth and social equity. With about 995 billion Kenya shillings funding gap in the water sector, Kenya is rewriting the rules of water financing. From green bonds to pension fund investments, new models are proving that water infrastructure can be both socially impactful and financially sustainable. We are looking at blended financing. We are looking at uh, private-public partnership, which is very, very key. Uh, there's already a policy uh, on, on that. Uh, we are looking at um, tapping into the capital market, uh, the green bonds. We are looking at a climate fund. And for the first time, we've seen with, with the government understanding how the water sector works. There is no direct financing to the sector. And because of that, we're able to review the, the law. And now we have B PPPs, that is uh, public-private partnerships. We also have PIPs, that is uh, privately initiated projects. Those kind of financing models that were in existence are now in existence, and there are quite a number of people who are executing them, or one way or another, they're exploring how to make use of them. We collect from the water sector the pension contributions and because we are the administrators we are able to add it onto our, the pool of funds we have and working with our fund managers with the fund managers who manage the funds of all these organizations we are administering uh, we through our uh, institutions one of our institutions is actually called CPF Capital is able to create a transactions uh, instrument 
which will enable the pension fund to invest through either an infrastructure bond, a corporate bond, or an asset-packed security for the purpose of building most of this infrastructure requirement. Through the National Water and Sanitation Investment Plan, NAWASIP, we are ensuring that all water infrastructure projects submitted for funding consideration, whether from donors, GOK uh, allocations, PPPs, meet minimum readiness thresholds. This includes technical feasibility, environmental and social safeguard, and also utility level governance and capacity. As climate change accelerates, so must the innovation. From AI-powered drought prediction to Internet of Things enabled sanitation systems, Kenya's water future will be built on technologies that don't just solve today's crisis, but anticipate tomorrow's challenges. The time to innovate, collaborate and lead is now. Be part of the solution.